Hi everybody, it is Tegan and Fallon here to help Miss Heather with our project for today. Today we are going to make some nature shadow boxes. And for this project, you need some box lids. It could be a shoe box lid or a gift box lid. And the first step is to take your box lid and go out and collect some items from nature. Tegan and Fallon walked around the yard and found a bunch of items. They have acorns, pine cones, rocks, leaves, sticks, everything. They put them in their box lid to make sure they would fit and to start to figure out how they wanted to design the lid. And now they are ready to start the craft. The first thing that they need is they're going to need some glue poured into their box lid. You got to keep it flat on the ground while I pour it. And I'm going to pour a lot of glue in here because I want it to spread out in the box lid and be able to hold all of the items, especially the heavy items. And you can go ahead and grab those popsicle sticks okay. while we wait. We have popsicle sticks that we're going to use for stirring, but you can also use spoons or anything else that you have around the house. Now, the popsicle sticks you can use to spread the glue into the corners of the lid. You can also use it to tilt. Now, you can do this with plain glue and it will travel clear, or Tegan and Fallon have decided that they want to add a little bit of color. So we're going to add some food coloring into their glue. Now, do not put all four colors together or you will get brown. So, Tegan, we'll start with you. What colors do you want? I want blue and red. Blue and red. Any guess what color that's going to turn into? Purple. Oh, good guess. But I want you to kind of separate them so hopefully they won't turn into So you don't want them to mix, so put them on different sides? Yeah. Okay. So I just put two drops on one side of blue, and I'm going to give her two drops of red. And now she is going to use her popsicle stick to spread this out a little bit and spread her color all around and then Fallon are you adding color to yours or are you leaving it plain adding color adding color okay what colors do you want um red and blue too yeah. all right do you want yours separated like Tegan's or mixed separated Okay, and Tina, why don't you lift that real quick for the camera and you can show them how you're turning all of your glue red. But be careful, because now that there is food coloring inside, it will stain. All right, and then you can use your popsicle stick and go ahead and just spread your colors. Might need a little bit more color. So do you want it all red? Um, well, it's kind of like a pink, so I'm actually se second guessing I might want to actually mix it. I think that looks cool. Yeah. Okay, because that looks cool. Wow. Oh, that's perfect, Helen. Now, Fallon, when you're ready and you have the color that you like, you can start and put your nature pieces in your box lid. And I'm just going to slide some glue down here into this corner because there didn't seem to be any glue in that corner. All right, when you're ready, start putting your stuff in your lid and laying it where you want. And she turns her popsicle stick sideways, she gets her color spread. All right, finish spreading so you can put your stuff in. Okay, trying. All right. Help Tegan just spread this glue around so she can start putting her stuff in. She's turned all of it red. Looks very pretty. We're gonna put this stick outside. All right, Tegan. Go ahead. That looks great, Fallon. All right, go ahead and start 
putting your stuff in, laying it where you want. Go ahead. Go ahead, put it in, Phil. And you want to lay the objects right into the glue flat so that they stick. So don't have anything pointing up or it won't hold. Why don't you put your hand over here? Where do you rub it? Oh, oh yeah. I'll take it for you. All right, finish putting your stuff in. And then just push it down. There you go. Perfect. I'm all done. That looks beautiful. All right. Let's see if we can get a close-up of Tegan's. And then we'll let it dry. Alan is finishing hers. Can you go all wash your hands? Lay down. You don't have to put everything in. Right and lay right in there. And then push it down into the glue. Nice job. Make sure it's all pushed down so it'll stay. And then you have to leave them flat to dry, especially for the bigger objects like the pine cones, and then they will be stuck in the boxes.